we did actually arrive at a formula improvement that we all felt confidence about. We actually did such a large base quantitative testing. The product claim that we are looking to launch, which is called two times power to review younger looking skin in 28 days. And a very proud claim that we actually have it on the package. A couple of lessons learned. Start with the needs of the consumers or the end users you're trying to delight. The traditional business thinking and the traditional business approach starts off with a business solution first. The consumer research was done late stage after the assumptions of the business solution was locked. And so if you think about it, if your assumptions for business solution is actually flawed, everything actually doesn't matter anymore. Perhaps one year into the company, I was not courageous enough to actually challenge the assumptions that the GM actually had set out. And courage is actually a very important trait for design thinkers. More importantly, focus on the what, not on the how, and really get back to real and good problem definition. Are those business challenges and business objectives valid? What do I need to do actually to set out the right problem definition? And this is really when I think design comes in as a strategy. It comes in as a strategy for us to re-examine the problem definition using consumer understanding to really get to the heart of what are you trying to solve for. The very first step that we did really is to take a step back and re-examine that network effect. As part of um, empathy development, who are the two most important stakeholders? It's critical for us then to start investigating into the insights into what are the ways in which consumers perceive relevancy to a brand from not just functional, but to emotional, as well as to social needs. From observations, we know that from the habits and practices of our consumers, in each step of the, the usage regimen as she uses her skincare products, she's always trying to tap products into the skin. And that actually has implications. It has implications on the sensory, on the product sensory, how would it feel? It actually has impact on technology, the skincare actives that we actually choose, such that they really can deliver the inside-out effects for our consumers. It actually also impacts a product story. How can we convince her we are really delivering this need that she is looking for? It actually also, in, in fact, um, uh, impact the packaging. And that actually has impact on brand communications speaking to her and speaking to her life and her struggles. I will share with you, I think, three critical reflections um, and thoughts I have for design thinking. Cross-cultural fluency is paramount to design thinking. A simple English word on the left, smooth. In Chinese, easily there are five interpretations of it. It really means that sometimes an idea that we have in a, a local language that we're familiar with, they may not really be translatable actually to another language. So you actually lose that idea in, in translation. And that's critically important for us to be aware of as design thinkers. The power of design thinking really is unleashed with breakthrough technology. Even if we had the right idea about the source of the origin cells, if we did not have the te technology or the skincare active ingredients to actually bring about that idea, we would not be able to communicate that as well. Diversity of talents is crucial to design thinking. Not everybody is a T-shaped person. Not everybody is a design, uh, a design thinker. So I do think that we still need to appreciate the diversity of the talents and the skill sets that we have so that we can really then harness that and drive design thinking to the next level.